What's up, Madden community? MT Squared back with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video. And today, I want to show you guys what an updated Jets 50 out of 50 theme team looks like. They got some nice upgrades today with Plaxico Burris and Keenan Williams. They've gotten quite a bit of love in this Zero Chill promo with Antonio Cromartie, obviously. They also got Ladanian Tomlinson, the first release. They got Ronnie Lott Legends Weekend last weekend, which is a really good card. So I want to show you guys what an updated team looks like. If if you do enjoy this video or find it helpful, hit that like button and make sure you're subbed to my channel so you can see my daily videos. I recently just surpassed my first major milestone, 1,000 subscribers, currently around 1,010. Thank you guys for the support, much appreciated. So first of all, you are gonna wanna go get this legendary gold strategy card. This is going to give you five extra chemistries for Jets, which is going to allow you to have a few extra fillers in your in your squad. So at this point in the game, if you have this legendary gold card and the team diamond for the Jets, which is Victor Green, the strong safety, then you can have up to eight fillers on your squad. I'm gonna show you guys where you should spend those. This um, this uh, strategy card is also gonna give plus one to impact blocking, catching, awareness, throw power, and acceleration for all of your Jets players. So uh, I am using the lineup builder on the butt.gg website. Definitely check out that site if you guys haven't already. For our offensive line here, so we are gonna put in a couple fillers here. Uh, Anthony Munoz over at left tackle because the Dwayne Brown 88 overall is the best available there. Creed Humphrey at center um, to replace the 88 Connor McGovern. And Ryan Ramchek at right tackle. Um, if you want, you can use that Makai back to 90 overall. It's an okay card, but he also doesn't get really any good abilities. Ramchek Check gets edge protector for only one ability point, and Munoz also does get that for only one ability point. And then Alan Fanica at right guard. He is a left guard who gets right guard as secondary position. So I put that there as your right guard. That way it saves you an extra filler spot. It's going to downgrade him to like an 88 overall, I believe, but that does not mean that he plays as an 88 overall. That's just how his out of position works. So I would recommend putting Alan Vanica in at right guard and putting Lincoln Tomlinson as your left guard. For tight end, we're definitely gonna want to um, upgrade one of our tight ends because Dave Casper, who you would have had to have gotten level 51 in the season one field pass in order to get Dave Casper, is the best available option. He gets any team chemistry. So we're gonna use Zach Ertz, who in my opinion is probably still the best tight end in the game. Uh, he's got good speed, around 92 speed, I believe. He gets short and elite for only one ability point. He's six foot five, so it's some decent height to him. Um, I mean, obviously there's other options you can use if you'd like. If you have a tight end you really like, then plug them in. For quarterback, we got quite a bit of options. Obviously, John Elway gets any team chemistry. He is still the best available option to you. If you don't have John Elway or don't want to spend the coins on him, Michael Vick or Ryan Fitzpatrick would be your next available options. You cannot buy Fitzmagic, uh, the 94 overall card. He um, was one of the competitive field passes a couple weeks ago, so you can't get that card at this point right now. Um, Michael Vick is probably the better option anyway because of his speed and abilities that he gets. Uh, 94 overall squad. I'll show you his stats and some of the other top playmakers in a moment. We got Ladanian Tomlinson, 95 overall running back with CJ, 2K, and Brees Hall as backup. So if you don't want to spend the coins on Tomlinson, if you're looking for a more budget option, uh, Brees Hall or CJ, 2K would definitely be good options for you. Four wide receivers and I really thought about um, upgrading, you know, uh, you know, one or two of these receivers um, after Plaxico Burris, but Art Monk is still a really good card. I'll show you his stats in a moment. And even Garrett Wilson, he's got like 93 speed, which with the theme team boost, he's going to have 95 speed on this theme team. So not really a, a reason to up, to upgrade him, in my opinion, um, until we get another Jets receiver. Um, if Brandon Marshall gets an upgrade or some other player um, on the Jets team. But I'll show you Plax's uh, uh, stats in a moment. And then we got Keith Byers, 92 overall fullback um, with Valor backing him up. For our top playmakers here, and again, these are the stats without the boost. So remember, all of our Jets players are getting plus two to speed, acceleration, strength, agility, and jumping. So uh, Michael Vick is going to have 96 speed on this theme team with 96 throw power from the strategy card, 92 short accuracy, 89 medium, 92 deep, 90 throw under pressure, 96 throw on the run, and 88 play action. Solid card. Uh, we've got Ladanian Tomlinson who will have 96 speed with 98 acceleration from the theme team 
team boost and strategy card. You'll have 96 agility, 91 uh, carrying, 84 catch, 95 change of direction, 87 truck, and 95 break tackle. Plaxico Burris, six foot five with 97 speed, 98 jumping, 96 uh, catching, 94 catch in traffic, 95 spec catch, 89 short route running, 95 medium, and 94 deep route running. Art Monk, so again, this is only a 93 overall card, but he's still gonna have 95 speed with 96, uh, I'm sorry, 95 jumping, 96 catching, 95 catching traffic, 93 spec catch, 90 short route running, 91 medium, and 92 deep. You can just get his 93 overall Legends card if you want, but if you want his discounted abilities, you're gonna have to get on uh, his power up and then get all the pieces uh, that go into his power up. I believe he gets Slot Apprentice for only one ability point as one of his discounted abilities. He does get Short in Elite for only one ability point. I believe he gets that without the power up though, even just his 93 overall card. Um, you have to test that out or check the Mod.gg website if you want. If you have his power up and he go um, powered all the way up, he definitely does have Short in Elite for only one ability point. Looking at our defense here for quarterbacks, we've got Antonio Cromartie, Ty Law, and Darrell Rivas as our top three corners, with Deion Sanders as a cornerback four. So if you uh, got Deion Sanders from the level 51 on the season two field pass, then you have access to him. He gets any team chemistry. For safeties, we've got Ronnie Law and Steve Atwater at free safety, Justin Reed at strong safety, and then Victor Green backing him up. So Justin Reed gets any team chemistry. He's that AFC champion team affinity card uh, from the the second release of the team builders and team affinity program we're going to spend a couple of our flex options on our outside linebackers so two of the best edge rushers in the game demarcus ware and tj watt we've got mosley and demario davis in that middle linebacker also really important so quan alexander who i have as the middle linebacker three he is a right outside linebacker who gets middle linebacker as a secondary position you want to make sure that you put him in there because there's only three middle linebackers in the game that gets jets chemistry so you need that so that you can have that extra filler spot uh, for our defensive line, we've got Jason Taylor, Keenan Williams, a new Zero Chill Part 4 card. Sam Adams is going to be our team captain as our DT2. And Javon Curse, who is a monster. I have a Legends theme team myself, and I use Javon Curse as one of my interior pass rushers. And the dude is a stud. He gets uh, the... Uh, ability double or nothing for only one ability point. You can also put edge threat on him for two if you wanted. Uh, but here we've got the top playmakers on defense. So Ronnie Lott with the theme team boost is going to have 97 speed with 96 acceleration, 89 tackling, 90 play rec, 92 pursuit, 90 man coverage, 94 zone, and 97 hit power. So this is another one of those cards because he's a Legends card. If you want his discounted abilities and he gets really good discounted abilities, you're gonna need his power up and then his 87, his 89, his 91, his 93, and his 95 to get the discounted abilities. You can get a B and D version of the 93 if you do his set. So you, if you do his set, you'll get the 95 and then you'll get the 93 back as B and D. You can actually get the 85 power up and the 87 from doing Legends challenges. So you really only need to buy the 87 and the 91. Obviously it's still an investment, but you guys can do, decide what you want to do. I have Ronnie Lott on my Legends team team and I use the inside shade ability on him for only two ability points. Um, that is the best man ability in the game right now. Um, and uh, I use him as a sub linebacker in the middle. I don't user him. He's my man coverage sub linebacker in the middle, usually manned up against either the tight end or the running back, depending on my opponent's formation. Steve, Wat Steve Atwater is our backup free safety, but this card should play every single down for you guys. He gets uh, pick artist for zero ability points. He gets deep end zone KO for one ability point. He's actually the only safety in the game that you can use both pick artist and deep end zone KO for only one total ability point. So if you are running like a, a cover three you know, zone scheme or a cover one man scheme, he's a good uh, single high safety. You can also user him. I use that card quite a bit on my squad. Um, I, I don't use them anymore because there's just been too many good legend safeties that are in the game right now. But this was one of my favorite cards for about three or four weeks. He was a really good user. And again, he was a really good uh, person to put in as a deep zone safety. Um, he got a lot of picks. He has, uh, he has good stats. Uh, he's got 96 speed, 94 acceleration, 88 tackling, 91 play rec, 91 pursuit, 86 man, 94 zone, and 95 hit power. I would try to avoid him in man coverage situations. Obviously, that's his weakness. 
point. Antonio Cromartie, six foot two with 97 speed, 97 acceleration, 97 agility, 98, uh, I'm sorry, 99 jumping with the team team boost, 90 play rec, 96 man, 94 zone, and 94 press. This card is insane. He also gets the inside chain ability for two ability points, or you can use the uh, pick artist ability on him for one AP. He gets a uh, medium round KO uh, for one AP also. He's the best man coverage uh, corner in the game. And then we've got Keenan Williams, a new addition to the squad, just came out today. He's got 86 speed with 95 acceleration, 95 strength, 95 tackles, 89 play rec, 95 block shed, 92 power move, and 84 finesse move. You can uh, put the double or nothing ability on him for one AP. You can also put either goal line stuff for zero AP or inside stuff for one AP. You've got to choose between one or the other on that, but you can combine that with the double or nothing ability if you want. Um, I bet you that Keenan Williams card, especially because he's a um, he's a new card that just came out. Um, he is going to get some sick animations, especially if you put uh, double or nothing and inside stuff on him uh, if you want to spend two AP on him. And then uh, for our kicker punter, we've got Morstead. I actually chose to uh, upgrade this team with uh, with a kicker. There was like an 80 overall kicker, so I threw in Justin Tucker because we had the ability to. I didn't really see a need for any other positions uh, to use any other flex options. And then for our specialist here, you can see I threw in Julius Peppers as a sub linebacker so that you can have a tall user, six foot seven. He gets pick artist for zero AP. Definitely really key when you have a, a user that has zero AP pick artist. TJ Watt and DeMarcus Ware as your edge rushers and Keenan Williams and Javon Kurse as your interior uh, pass rushers. And that is it for today's video, guys. Let me know what you think of the squad and who you're using for a theme team. I'm still running the 40 out of 40 Legends theme team. That team has been really good to me, especially since I picked up all the ghosts and the uh, recent cards that came out. Um, I did pick up Anthony Munoz from today's promo. I decided not to pick up Plaxico Burris at this point right now, um, at least on my Legends theme team. I'm using receivers Calvin Johnson, Andre Johnson, because he gets the honorary lineman for one AP, and then also using Marvin Harrison. So those are my three main receivers. And I just didn't feel like Plax got any special abilities that put him above any of my other card receivers. He is six foot five, has good speed. So he may actually replace uh, Calvin Johnson. I don't know. I really like Calvin Johnson though. So uh, he is, Plax is one speed faster. So we'll see what happens. But uh, that is it for the video. If you did enjoy it or found it helpful, hit that like button and make sure you're subbed to my channel so you can see my daily videos. And thank you for watching this video.